Hello everyone. Welcome to Static GK quiz number 133. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examinations. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Vitamin A, D and C are respectively called retinol, calciferol and ascorbic acid. Vitamin A is also known as retinol because it produces the pigments in the retina of the eye. Vitamin D is a group of fat-soluble secosteroids. Vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid and is necessary for growth, development and repair of all body tissues. Sugar amino acids and nucleotides are constituents of which of these options respectively? The correct answer is sugar for polysaccharides, amino acids for proteins and nucleotides for nucleic acids. Uh, so, simple sugars are also called monosaccharides, whereas longer chains are called polysaccharides. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, whereas nucleic acid or RNA and DNA are made up of a series of nucleotides. William Harvey, Alexander Fleming and Louis Pasteur are related to which of these options respectively? William Harvey is related to blood circulation. Alexander Fleming to penicillin and Louis Pasteur to vaccination. William Harvey was the first known physician to describe completely and in detail the systemic circulation and properties of blood being pumped to the brain and body by the heart. Sir Alexander Fleming is best known for his discovery of the world's first antibiotic substance benzyl penicillin or penicillin G from the mold Penicillia notitum, which won him the Nobel Prize. Pasteur demonstrated that microorganisms cause disease and discovered how to make vaccines from weakened or attenuated microbes. The elements which are found in hemoglobin, chlorophyll, chalcopyrite, and uh, vitamin B12 are which of the following, respectively. So hemoglobin has iron, chlorophyll has magnesium, charcopyrite has copper and vitamin B12 has cobalt. Iron is an essential element for blood production and about 70% of our body's iron is found in hemoglobin and myoglobin. Magnesium is pla in plants is located in the enzymes in the heart of the chlorophyll molecule. Vitamin B12 is a collective term for a group of cobalt-containing compounds known as corinoids. A ripe tomato is red, leaves are green, flower is purple and hair is black, which are the pigments responsible for these colors. The correct answer is lycopene for tomato red, chlorophyll for leaf green, anthocyanin for flower purple and melanin for hair black. Lycopene is a bright red carotene and carotenoid pigment and phytochemical found in tomatoes and other red fruits and vegetables. Chlorophyll is of course the green pigment responsible for photosynthesis in leaves. Anthocyanins are a type of flavonoid found naturally in a number of foods and gives uh, these fruits and flowers their purple color. Melanin is the same pigment that gives our skin color as well as our hair. An example of protozoa, anthropod, apes, mammal and reptile respectively is So amoeba is a single cell protozoa, scorpio is a eight-legged arthropoda, hen is a bird or ape, bats are of course mammals and lizards are cold-blooded reptiles. Which among the following clearly describes a silverfish? The correct answer is a wingless insect. So a silverfish is a small wingless insect in the order Zygonotoma. Its common name derives from the animal's silvery light grey colour combined with the fish-like appearance of its movements. Protein in pulses or more correctly legume is found in which of the following form? The correct answer is albumin. Albumins are family of globular proteins, the most common of which are the serum albumins. Which among the following is the best definition of triticale? The correct answer is a man-made hybrid cereal not found in nature. Triticale is a hybrid of wheat and rye first bred in laboratories during the late 19th century in Scotland and Germany. Commercially available triticale is 
almost always a second generation hybrid that is a cross between two kinds of primary reticles. Flowering in long day plants is related to which of the following? The correct answer is gibbelin. Gibbelins or GAs are plant hormones that regulate various developmental processes including stem elongation, germination, dormancy, flowering, flower development and leaf and fruit senses. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.